2007 Mercury Mariner today doing the uh, coil packs on the rear so you can see them right here putting all new ones in you got spark plugs down in there I don't know if you can see that real well um, what you're gonna have to do to get to these once you get to them they're not too bad they got the 8mm bolt on the sides of them and you just unplug them here uh, you are gonna need it's a 5 8 uh, socket for spark plugs. This one's a swivel and extension, works real good with the magnet in there. Highly recommend it for getting down in there and getting them out. Um, front three are easy to get to. It's the same thing on the back, except for you gotta take this plenum off. You got eight bolts. These are, I believe, eight millimeter. If I can get the thing to focus there. Either way. And you'll have those where you can see them down through here. Well, first you'll have to take all this garbage off. You'll have uh, eight or 10 millimeter bolts here on this here. You have these hoses. This hose back here, clips to pull down. Uh, these hoses back here, all got to come off the back side of it. These plugs, we just left the throttle cables on. We just disconnected them. You can see them up here. Throttle and uh, idle cables. Um, you'll have to disconnect. We took the air box out completely down there with the hose and everything. This is the throttle body. We just unbolted it, uh, unplugged it and everything because there's these cooling hoses right here um, you got this thing here you just gotta disconnect comes up on top this thing here you can see it's long what you have to do is once you get that plenum air intake uh, unbolted you have to angle it up and wiggle it this way uh, to get it out from this uh, but basically just make sure you get all this stuff disconnected there's a hose underneath and plug to uh, get it up out of your road just check all the way around it uh, you won't need to take out this bolt, you'll see that one. But there's only four, and then four down, be down inside the, the plenum there. So, but you can see what we left on, and you can see what all those ports on the back got to be hoses disconnected and stuff. But then once you do that, you'll have access to the back, and your, if you need to get to your fuel injectors, they're right here as well. And then we always just put rags inside the air intake so nothing fell down in there. Uh, but uh, hopefully that helps you all out. Uh, have a good day. Be safe. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe below.